overcoming small obstacles, understanding, it's just a hiccup. Hello everyone, today, we're diving into a fascinating phrase you might have heard in English conversations, it's just a hiccup. This expression is rich in meaning and can add a nice touch to your English skills. So, grab a notebook, and let's explore what this phrase really means and how you can use it in your daily English conversations. The phrase, it's just a hiccup, is a metaphorical expression used to describe a small and temporary problem or setback. Just like a physical hiccup is a minor and brief interruption of your normal breathing pattern, a metaphorical hiccup in life or work is something that momentarily disrupts progress but isn't expected to cause long-term issues. Interestingly, the term, hiccup, itself refers to a sudden, involuntary contraction of the diaphragm, leading to a quick intake of breath followed by a distinctive sound. When we say, it's just a hiccup, we're borrowing this physical reaction to describe situations metaphorically. This phrase is often used in both personal and professional contexts to reassure someone that, despite a minor setback, everything is under control and will soon return to normal. Let's look at some examples to understand how to use this phrase effectively. 1. In the workplace. Imagine your team is working on a project and you encounter an unexpected issue that delays your progress. You might say, don't worry, it's just a hiccup. We'll figure it out and get back on track. 2. In personal life, if a friend is upset because their day didn't go as planned due to a small mishap, you could comfort them by saying, it's just a hiccup, nothing you can't handle. Tomorrow will be better. These examples show how the phrase can be used to minimize the perceived severity of a problem, offering reassurance and encouragement. While, it's just a hiccup, is generally seen as positive and encouraging, it's important to be sensitive to the context in which you use it. What might seem like a minor issue to one person could feel more significant to someone else. Always gauge the situation and the other person's feelings before using this phrase to ensure your words are supportive and not dismissive. We hope this exploration of, it's just a hiccup, enriches your English vocabulary and helps you navigate life's small setbacks with a bit more ease. Remember, language is not just about words, it's about conveying understanding and empathy. Keep practicing and don't let the small hiccups discourage you on your language learning journey. See you in the next video.